My name is Nimrod and I'm a scene chaser. I'm suffering from chronic FOMO, fear of missing out. My problem is I would never want to be a part of a scene that would have me as a member. I know my value. Following Russell Brand on Instagram, I've realized that sobriety and spirituality are the hot new things right now. So I've come to Camden to a hip hypno rave where people get out of their minds without any alcohol or drugs. So just take a moment. My invitation is for you to close your eyes. If you don't want to, you don't need to. How did it all begin? How did you start pulling this thing off? Well, for years, I've um, been using music with my hypnosis clients. I'm a hypnotherapist. That's my original uh, skill. And now just imagine yourself just dancing really freely. I realized if you ascribe meaning to music, it becomes more powerful. Yeah. So if you utilize that and you get people en masse to believe that the next record is going to make them more grateful to be alive, it will. When it comes to it, I'll stay every week. I'll stay every week. Is everyone here sober? Yes. Did they give you a test when you came in? How do you know? I might go out do some ketamine. Really? Should I? Oh. 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 It's not about that. Okay. No one was faking it. The only drug readily available here was love. So everyone like throwing love at you? What was it? Yeah, love bomb. What's that? What's that? It's like just receiving love. It's great. How can I be a part of the scene? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got no idea. Brilliant. I wasn't feeling emotionally drunk enough and started to worry that the group hypnotism hadn't worked out for me. What could I do? Can I have a beer outside and come back? That's not very conscious of you. Is there are other places you can go and drink and take drugs. No problem with that. Yeah. She was right. There were other places I could go to. After getting consciously high on a couple of craft beers, I returned inside and really felt the hypnosis kicking in. I used to run nightclubs, right? So yeah. I've always been interested in dance music. And especially... It's a new scene now. You, you define the scene. It's a new, this is a hypnosis raves are a new thing. Yeah. yeah, it's hip, it's hypno. It's putting the hip into hypnosis. Huge. The scene, is it going bigger and bigger? The first night we had, I think, 83. I'm not too sure, we've got 120 tonight. So, it's big, yeah. Well, it's a start. Yeah. People will end up loved up and they will lie down on the floor because you invite them to, hugging people they don't know because it feels good. What's the purpose of the hugging? Just feels good? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, the purpose of hugging is just because it feels good. Do you get some action here as a DJ? It's a non-sexual experience, my friend. It's about having good fun, good, clean, healthy, mm. conscious fun. After the dancing, shit got hyper real. And love! <laughs> I desperately wanted to embrace this vibe with my moist, open arms. Is this like a Tinder matchup event, really? Disguised as a rave? I didn't think so. I didn't think there was any kind of, you know, of that vibe. I think there was some of that vibe in the car. <laughs> Everything was suddenly making sense. I felt a part of something, and that something was becoming a part of me. Hi, my name is Nimrod. Thanks for having me. I like dancing with you guys, and I want to invite everyone to my house uh, later tonight, oh, just so I can get to know each of you. Thank you. <laughs> can anyone tell me how I've done how you've so done? far? What do you think would mean that you've settled in and done well? Nine out of nine. Nine out of nine? I think you've done 11 out of nine. You'll be fine. Thanks. Over the space of just one evening, I'd basically become the most popular guy ever in the hypno-rave scene. Which meant that I wanted nothing to do with it anymore. My quest continues. <laughs>